Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and today we're talking about who makes what in the world of liquid cooling solutions for CPUs and GPUs. So we're talking about CLCs, closed loop liquid coolers, also known as AIOs, all-in-ones, and specifically talking about who makes the actual underlying pump solution provided to the brands with which you are all familiar. This topic came about following some of our coverage of Ace Attack, Cooler Master, and Cool IT lately, when readers and viewers asked, who is Ace Attack, who is Cool IT, and why do I not see their liquid pumps, liquid coolers on sale on Newegg and Amazon? So the reason for that is because they are OEMs, or original equipment manufacturers, and they are effectively suppliers in this market. They supply the complete liquid cooling solution to brands that exist like Corsair, NZXT, and several other companies, AMD, Intel. They supply the cooler to those companies and those companies provide some level of design input and then effectively brand it as their own and sell it as a finished product. There are many other suppliers in this space as well. So OEMs would include, at the top of things, we have sort of the main Ace Attack, Cool IT, and Cooler Master cluster of suppliers. And to give an idea of what they produce, what you've seen them in, Ace Attack's pumps, their blocks are normally circular. And those are sold through Corsair's product lineup, the odd-numbered ones like the H110, the H100i GTX, even though it's not odd-numbered or uh, odd-numbered 10 digit, it's still the GTX model, which is an Ace Tech thing. Corsair's line is pretty confusing, <laughs> but you can see on the chart that these are the products that Ace Tech makes. Now, Corsair also sources supply from Cool IT, who make a slightly different pump and cooling solution, but not different enough to avoid a settlement with Acetech. So it's, it's sort of similar at a top level, at least. And those products would include things like the H60, the H80i, the H100i GT, and similar products. So those are the actual suppliers of the solution. Now, where does Corsair, in this instance, come into play? Well, a company like Corsair, Enermax, NDXT, any of these companies, Silverstone, not to single anyone out, any of these companies can approach the CLC supplier, the OEM, and provide a spec sheet. They can say, we want LEDs. We want variable pump speed. We want things like this certain type of fan that we already make, which, by the way, is supplied from another company, like Dynatron often. And then the CLC supplier will take all that data. They'll modify whatever their existing offerings are. They have a list of existing supply that they can modify, tune, and customize to the manufacturer's liking, and then hopefully that differentiates them enough to produce a noticeable performance delta in testing. It's not always the case, normally they're within a couple of degrees of each other, but sometimes there's a big difference. So the manufacturer does actually mat matter, even though this feels like it's all the same product, and that's because things as simple as fan choice can greatly impact the dissipation ability of the radiator. If you choose a fan that produces a lot of turbulence within the fins, it's not going to work very well. So it does matter. And the companies like the manufacturers and the brands do put in some level of testing depending on who it is. So we've toured some of their labs. We've seen that they test these things. And the reason I bring this up is because I don't want to ruin the mysticism of the hardware industry for any of you. Yes, at the end of the day, power supplies, cases, coolers, GPU, heat pipes, all of that stuff, it comes from sort of a small list of people the companies that we see every day on Newegg and Amazon aren't necessarily actually engineering the very low level details of these products, but that doesn't mean they don't have input. So there is still an important differentiation to be made, especially when you look at things like support, warranties, testing, validation, all that stuff. But at the same time, it's important to note that a select few group of suppliers are the ones actually contributing the base product which is what impacts the core performance of that product to the industry so to run through a few of them very quickly for liquid coolers specifically ace Tech makes a lot of the corsair units that would include the h110 the h100i some of the gt suffix products and cool it also makes some corsair units including the even 10 digit models like the H60, the H80i, the H100i, and things along that nature, the suffix GTX models. And then you have other companies, NDXT, 
their X61, X41, X31, the X30, X40, X60, those are all Ace Attack products. They've differentiated themselves from competing Ace Attack products like Corsairs by doing different LED setups. They have an RGB LED, they plug into the Kraken software, and they have a variable pump speed. So that's sort of what their selling point is in that specific instance. Then you have the sort of smaller but boutique companies like Silverstone and Fractal Design. They have their suppliers as well, their OEMs. And Silverstones is a Paltech, and they make Enermax coolers as well. They make Lepa coolers, which is an Enermax brand. So it's sort of all the OEMs get around with these companies. You can see all their products from all the different manufacturers, and this list, sort of the table, should detail who makes what. And hopefully that demystifies things a bit without ruining the uh, the infatuation that everyone sort of has about their favorite brands. If if they do have that. So that's the content for who makes what on liquid coolers. Check the article linked in the description below if you just want the table to get a look at who is actually selling me the product I like at the end of the day. And as I said, manufacturers do still matter. So don't just sort of rule them out as relevant to the process because it does matter. It's more than just a sticker operation. It's more than just putting their brand sticker on it. That said, you can buy unbranded ones through companies like System Integrators, IY Power, Cyber Power. Those folks will sell unbranded supplied liquid coolers to reduce their cost and compete more directly with the DIY pricing. That's one of the ways they can compete with the pricing of the DIY world. So that's all for this time. If you like this type of content, hit that Patreon link in the post video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you all next time.